Today on Electronic Stinker, I'm going to be showing you this 1541 drive emulator I designed and built for the Commodore 64. All right, here's the setup. We have the Commodore 64 here, um, along with the 1541 emulator in the back. I'm using a small backup camera composite monitor for the video output. And I have a C64 saver that I built last summer. And let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Commodore. Before I start loading programs, I'm going to show the various air codes built into the drive. The first is an SD error, which is four flashes. This indicates that there was an issue during the initialization process of the SD card. The most likely cause of this is a missing card, but it also could be caused by an improperly formatted card. The easiest way to fix this is to either format the card to a FAT32 file system or to insert the card into the drive. The next error is a frame error, and this is where the computer fails to respond within the allotted one millisecond, and it has a flash code of three. The easiest way for me to demonstrate this is to uh, run this program here. So if I load that and then list it, um, all this does is open the channel to the drive, but because I haven't yet programmed it to handle an open statement like this, it doesn't really know what to do, and this is just one easy way to cause that error. So if I run it, the computer says ready, but as you can see, the disk drive is flashing an error code of 3. The last error I'll get to in just a minute. Um, one thing to note is that all three of these error codes are fatal to the drive, meaning that it must be reset before it can access, be accessed again. So since the error code 3 is still flashing, if I tried loading the directory from the disk, uh, the device would not be present, at least as the computer can see. So I must reset the drive first. Now that I have reset the drive, uh, let's try loading a directory to see what's on the card. So as you can see, I have several programs, including the 8-Bit Guys Tetris and PetDraw programs. I'm going to load up PetDraw. So while that's loading, I set up the drive number to be 8 on the disk drive because that's the normal device number for the original 1541. And if this needs to be changed, there is a define statement toward the top of the source code that can be changed anywhere within the range of 8 through 16. Now that the program is loaded, let's load up one drawing I did this morning. So now that we're in draw mode, I can load up the file name. So here we are. And there we go. So I did my logo. And... Um, I think it turned out really well, except I did end up running out of room, so there is no S on electronics, but either way, I like the way it turned out. And if I want to save this, um, I type an S in the program, and then type in the name of the program, or the name of the file I want to save it as, I hit enter, and oh, well, you can see the disk drive now has an error code of two. And that's because I was trying to overwrite an existing file without telling it to overwrite it. So if I reset the drive and then try saving it again, but this time I add the at zero colon at the beginning of the file name, it will let me save the file. And there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out so I have to restart the machine. And finally is loading the first program on the disk. So the traditional uh, load asterisk comma eight. So this first file is particularly large, but it will take a little while to load. So uh, this opens the first file on the translation table on the SD card. So the table stored in a file under the name dir and can be edited by the user on a computer with an SD interface. And this program I've just loaded should be familiar to many of my viewers. And this is a port of Flappy Bird by SOS. 
And, and because I don't have a joystick hooked up right now, I've found that pressing space and C at the same time is equivalent. So we can go ahead and play. Oh. Well, that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. In the description are links to the overview, design, and build videos for the 1541 emulator.